Apparently we're not the only ones out enjoying nature. We got another hiker just found on the trail hiking the bluffage. And it's a nice bluff to hike. Well, howdy folks, Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. And today I'm at Rimrock. And here is the stone fort, the old stone fort. Here today with my girlfriend, Michelle. She's up ahead and we're gonna check out some some of the trail and get off trail and go look for some other cool bluffage and stuff. So stay tuned. Alrighty folks. Really cool Barrens area. Just kind of a cool little overlook and everything. Overlooking the forest. It's not really high but still kind of neat. Lots of colors out there. Lots of chirping birds and squirrels and stuff. There's Michelle. Alrighty. Cool looking area here. Alrighty, coming up to the rock formations. Uh, gonna be taking the stairs down here shortly. And pretty cool area. Alrighty, got a nice overlook here. folks climbing down the stairs heading towards the maze of Rimrock and here we are Here's the bottom. Yeah. All right, folks. Made it down, went off trail, and came to this area here. This Hawk's Cave looking area, as we, we've determined. And it's a pretty cool little area. And it's pretty much right straight ahead when you get down from the staircase and go through the maze. Just got to kind of bushwhack, make your way up. Alrighty, off trail again and making our way beside the bluffage to reach better things. that's what happens when you follow the bluffage. You find better things. But the trail is right there. The Rim Rock Trail it goes to Pounds Hollow Beach. So just cross the little creek that eventually turns into Pounds Lake 
and uh, that's it. All right, so the last time I was here, this was an active waterfall. I was here with two Bob's adventures. Me and little Bob were sitting on that log taking photos of it. I'll throw a little link to that video up here somewhere. You can check it out. Fun times. Alrighty, folks. Did some uphill climbing. Got on a horse trail. Um, I don't know the number of this trail. If I see a blaze, I'll let you know. But, uh, I do know where, where it goes, so... I know where it'll eventually lead us to the arch and all sorts of cool bluffage and stuff like that. So, just uh, enjoying it. Alrighty, trail 183 is what I'm on. And trail 183, if you take it towards, I guess it's the south, maybe it'd be south. No. North. North, is that where we are, north? Yes. Yeah, north. Um, it'll take you to a little arch, so it's pretty cool. Um, there's all sorts of rock formations, and the arches it is cool enough where around this time in the fall, <laughs> you could take a picture of it on one side and see Pound Solid Lake through it. So it's kind of cool. Alrighty, folks, here by the lake. Taking a trail right by the lake, seeing where it goes. And it's even some bluffage. Even some cool bluffage. All right, folks, there is a trail to this arch. It isn't hard to get to, but we decided to take the long way and climb up the mountain pretty much, so. Uh, it was hard to get to for us, which makes it a little bit more rewarding. I've been here before. Michelle hasn't. I was really wanting to show her. And for a little while today, I thought she wasn't going to be able to see it. So it makes me really, really happy to be able to show her it. Thank you. Smell. You like the arch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. The Pounds Hollow Arch. Or the Pounds Arch. And I will drop the GPS to this arch in the description below. And something kind of neat is this old gate. It's grown into the tree. And I'm assuming at one time it was an old road and the Forest Service put up a gate. But you can see the uh, tree has overtaken the lock and the chain. So that's kind of interesting. That's what happens when you wrap a chain around a tree really tight and it continues to grow. It just takes over. So who knows how long that's been there. But really pretty area. Boulders all over. And getting close to the Pounds Hollow Spillway, which is right there. And uh, it's a really fun area and I do believe this is maybe a wagon road that will take you to double M a horse camp I'm not too sure but I think it is check that out Someone carved in Lonzo into the bluffage. It's probably new, unfortunately. <laughs> Trying to catch my breath here. Found some old, old signs of the past. Probably built by the CCC for some reason. And then there's these pipe things. I don't know what they are. And there's something up here in a box. 
We'll go up there and kind of look at it. I think it's just an old wooden box with a bunch of wood and stuff. But I don't know what this is. This is old trash can. Okay, just an old trash can. Still kind of interesting. And up here's the road. Alrighty, made it to the uh, Pounds Hollow Beach, which is currently closed for the season. Um, you could still hike through it though, you could walk. But it's pretty, uh, pretty cold in there. So, not gonna be doing any swimming. But there it is. Um, website says you can put it like a kayak or a, a boat with an electric engine in, but this boat ramp isn't open anymore, so I don't know how you'd get it in there. Um, but there's like little docks and stuff you can fish off of. Um, I believe there's channel cat, largemouth bass, and bluegill. Maybe some crappie. Stuff like that. I'm not a big fisherman, so I don't I don't know. But uh when everything's open, the beach is open, there's bathrooms that have a flush, um, parking, so on and so forth. Right now it's free, but it may eventually be five dollars. So that's Pounds Hollow Beach. All right, folks, I just want to show you why I think Karens are a problem. They're all over. So instead of seeing the beautiful bluffage shelter that, you know, it's just a shelter, it's nothing but Karens. Looks a little bit better under here. Looks a little bit more natural. Hi. Check out this tree that uprooted. It's a big, big sucker. It just curves the way it curves. That's a big tree at one time. You could walk right across the creek. Just uh, got done dismantling all them Karens. Felt pretty good. I'm glad to do that. Alrighty, folks, that was Rim Rock Pounds Hollow, the arch. All that good stuff. If you liked today's episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought if you want to see more videos like this. And be sure to share this video with others, especially on social media. Forest Service put new signs up. It's cool. Nice little map. Um, I'm gonna do this beaver trail one day where I go all the way there, but all the trails we went to was behind here. They're just horse trails, so they're not really uh, official trails, but uh, it's pretty fun nonetheless. Um, we pretty much crossed right here this creek and just followed the lake all the way up this way so that's what we did it was a lot of fun and i'm enjoy doing it so um i don't think most people read that one one good thing that you should always keep a pet on a leash is because if someone else doesn't and you don't and the pets get together and they fight whose fault is it <laughs> but yeah so pack it in pack it out there are no trash cans here and yeah so thanks again for watching another episode of hiking with sean until next time i'll see you on the trail now it's pizza time mackie's pizza time for the girlfriend and for me. I like Mackey's. Probably my best uh, pizza place in the world. Well, at least in southern Illinois. Speaking of...
didn't say goodbye. You better tell the viewers bye. bye. <laughs>